Well, good morning, everybody. Grace and peace to you from our Lord Jesus Christ and all the saints here in Central California. Um, coming to you this morning from yet another network closet. We uh, so so far this week, I've had to be a lawyer and prove that something was not my network. Um, but however, where I just came from was, if you remember in a previous video, where I was uh, up in the OR. Uh, hooking up a network jack that uh, they needed hooked up for some some new whiz bang thing they bought. Um, I heated up the network jack for that, and then the vendor told me, "Oh, sorry, we told you the wrong jack." So I just had to go back up there and redo my work from last video so, or previous video. So uh, anyway, that's all done. I spared you uh, that because you've already seen that closet. So we're here in the emergency department closet is what it looks like. It's got all kinds of other engineering things that I couldn't even begin to tell you about. I don't know what they do. I know those are the door access controllers. So, and uh, they're all run, run from this guy right here. So it interfaces to the server and talks to all these door controllers and gate controllers. So, at any rate, this is our, our emergency uh, department. We've got a lot of a lot of network ports in here, so I've actually got two stacks of switches in here. Um, a stack of four up here, and then a stack of four down there. So lots of networking going on in this closet. What I brought you here today for, though, was um, for these guys. Now this switch over here is mine. It's all off by itself over here because this is part of our patient vitals network. So when they put the, you know, the, the EKG thing on you and the blood pressure automatic thing and all, all those other things, it goes into a little bedside display computer thing, and then that plugs into our network. And then that goes to the central, centralized server, and uh, they can display all those vitals at a nurse's station. So they can monitor all the beds from one stage and it communicates over these switches here. There's only one here, but we've got like eight of these. And um, I treat them a little different than the rest of my network switches. I don't update them anywhere near as often, and uh, I pretty much leave them alone, you know, unless there's, there's something wrong. So, and the things that connect into this thing is not just the, 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 the patient, the beds, they call them bedside monitors. Um, a lot of those communicate wirelessly to uh, the vitals network, and the way those APs are, can, they, have a, they have access points all over the place. They're not mine. Please listen, I do not control them. So, the ubiquity, no, no ubiquity video, my most commented on video, is because people weren't listening and they thought that I didn't know how to configure ubiquity. Well. This is not mine, and I do not know how to configure it. Um, this, 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 this device here is the, their uh, AP controller, and it's managed <coughs> by Philips. So they manage this remotely, they, oh, and if they need to, they come in and they, they actually make changes to it. So there's this AP controller here, and then there's this thing called a sync unit, and I don't know what the sync unit does, other than communicate to another AP controller. Um, I know that all the APs come into here, and then it's all aggregated through here, all the data. So all that data is coming through one, all the wireless data comes through one line into their network. Um, so, why am I blabbering on about all this? Okay, so this thing up here, the AP controller, I don't know why it's got a volume knob on it, <laughs> but it does. Uh, it's cable delay, whatever cable delay does. Seems like it would be a little weird to have it sitting out like that. Anyway, I, I'm digressing. Um, so this thing is going offline like every morning at, at about 8.20, 8.30. And so what's the first thing you do when something like that happens? You blame the network. So they called me, actually they weren't blaming the network, they were just asking me to check a few things. So I checked the event logs for this switch, um, 
<clears throat> first of all, it was packed full of a bunch of garbage messages of not being able to get uh, get hold of the SNTP server, simple, S yeah, SNMP, simple network time protocol. Is that what it is? I don't know. NTP, network time protocol. Um, it couldn't get to the server, and that's because I had the command misconfigured. I did not tell it the default um, router to use, not the default gateway, the default router that runs internally on this switch. So I fixed that, told it what default router it was, I cleared all the logs, and then we let it run for a couple days. I didn't see any logs about any of these ports going up and down. I also set up an SNMP trap um, to alert me if any of these servers go up or down, or servers, any of these ports go up or down. It didn't happen. So, uh, so then the, the Phillips representative came out and they were looking at this and then she said, well, um, is your switch going up and down? She's an odd question. So I said, well, uh, let's check. So over here, I, I uh, got into the switch. Let's see if I can show this correctly. Uh, hopefully you can see right here. Where's my finger? Right there. It says 590 days, one hour, 21 minutes, and 56 seconds. Yeah, that's that's the system uptime. So I showed her that, and she goes, "Oh, well, I guess that explains what we saw earlier." Um, what did you see earlier? She said, "Oh, well, we were sitting in here when it happened." I said, "Well, did did the switch reboot or go down or anything?" She goes, "Well, no," because I said, "Could you know it yeah, if it did? Because when it comes back up." thing sounds like a, a passenger jet spooling up for takeoff. It, it does a self-test on the fans and they roar really loud. He said, no. I said, well, did anything else go down? No. I said, okay, well, it's not a UPS issue. It's not a power issue. I mean, it's not a network issue. Everything seems to be pointing to your box. So she agreed and uh, now they're going to pursue this thing see if they can figure out what's going on with it. I think they're going to try to get a, a replacement and test with that. So, I don't know what's causing their problem, but it's not my network. And that's what's important. So that's that's a lot of what you're going to run into. Is The very first thing they'll point to is, oh, it's got to be a network problem. So you have to be prepared to, to provide documentation showing it's not the network because that's going to happen way more often than you think. So anyway, that's all I got for today. Um, coming up next week, uh, I'll try to show you which I, what I can, um, and it'll be after the fact. Uh, we are going to be making a change to a VPN tunnel, which I am really bad at. OK, I'm, I'm, I'm not the, the super smart guy that most of you think I am. VPNs is one of the things that I'm just really bad at. Um, so, but be that as may, we're, we're going to make a change to that next week if we need to. Um, usually my boss would do that, but she's, she's back, back home in India for two weeks for her brother's wedding. So, uh, happy wedding, Amon Preet's brother. I don't know his name, but I'm sure he's going to have a very nice wedding. So, um, anyway. And yeah, so for the next two weeks, I'm trying not to allow any network changes because I'm the only person here supporting the network. And it's, it's an entire campus. It's pretty big. So, you know, everybody thinks the job is really easy until something happens. And then they're like, well, uh, how, come, how come you can't work on my thing? I'm working on the broken thing. Well, when are you going to be done? I don't know. We need another network person here, don't we? So... This campus really does take two full-time network folks to run it, and uh, it just doesn't, they don't, they, the management doesn't think so, because my boss and I try to do the best job we can at keeping things running, so they think it just happens, it doesn't, it takes work. All right, sermon is over. Um, keep praying for Sam Jones, and... I wrote down that other YouTuber's name. I put him in the comments last week. Go back and look. 
his wife is going into surgery next month, so so pray for his wife, and uh, pray for each other. If you have any prayer requests, you can put them in the comments, and I'm always happy to pray for people. Um, I always uh, love doing the Lord's work. So, yeah, I had a lot of fun last weekend. We went out and uh, my first time with this new church I'm going to, we went out and uh, delivered lunches to the homeless uh, up in Stockton, Stockton, California. Not a garden spot. Um, but uh, the people, the homeless there, were all very nice and very grateful, and uh, I was very happy to be able to play a small part in bringing them a little comfort. Um, so, anyway... Like I said, that's all I got for this week. Um, if you like what you saw, click the subscribe button and click the notification bell if you want to know when more of this silliness comes out. And uh, as always, to God alone be the glory. Soli Deo Gloria. We'll catch you guys next week. God bless.